And good morning, everybody. Another edition of the Water Cooler with that Woody Smalls here on uh, Wednesday, March 20th, first day of spring. Um, it's like about 40 degrees here in the south in Atlanta. I think uh, half the country has about a foot of snow on the ground. So very nice spring start. We're going to jump right into uh, March Madness today. I'm going to give you the expert predictions coming from one, that's right, me, Woody Smalls. Um, this year I've been about seven or eight brackets, uh, but I'm consistent on every one of them. I've picked the exact same bracket, so we'll see what happens. So uh, with that being said, if you're still looking at some teams to take a look at, then you're going to want to definitely listen for the next few minutes. So let's jump right in. Uh, take a look at the Midwest bracket. We're going to have Louisville, Colorado State, Oklahoma State, New Mexico State, St. Mary's, Michigan State, Creighton and Duke all winning their first round game. There's a lot of states in there. Um, moving on from there, you're going to have Louisville taking out Colorado State, Oklahoma State taking out New Mexico State, uh, Michigan State taking out St. Mary's, and Duke taking out Creighton. So that leaves Louisville, Oklahoma State, Michigan State, and Duke. And, of course, we're going to have Louisville beating the Cowboys and Duke taking care of the Spartans setting up that great eight matchup with Louisville winning and going as one of the participants to the Final Four over the Blue Devils. And jumping down into the West bracket, the Gonzaga bracket. Of course, Gonzaga is going to win and move on in the first round game, along with Pittsburgh, Mississippi, Kansas State, Belmont. Keep Belmont in mind, folks. New Mexico, Notre Dame, and Ohio State. Uh, Gonzaga will beat Pittsburgh, and uh, the Ole Miss Rebels are going to ride that wave of the SEC championship and knock off Kansas State. Uh, Belmont, in that matchup with New Mexico, uh, they're going to take care of business there in advance as well, and uh, Notre Dame is going to pull the upset against Ohio State. So that's going to leave you Gonzaga versus Mississippi and Belmont versus Notre Dame in the West. Things are kind of looking pretty good for Gonzaga. Uh, they will end the run of the Rebels and advance. Uh, and, of course, the uh, Cinderella this year, I think, is going to be Belmont. So Belmont's going to beat Notre Dame uh, to face Gonzaga. Uh, but the uh, slipper will break at that point, and Gonzaga will make it in to the Final Four. A little bit easier path uh, for them. It always happens every year in the tournament that the one team folks think uh, will never make it to the Final Four because of their bracket or how the matchups are things always seem to kind of fall in place, and I think that's uh, something that Gonzaga will have an advantage of this year. So let's jump over to the East bracket now. Uh, Indiana, NC State, UNLV, Syracuse, Butler, Marquette, Colorado, and the Hurricanes of Miami, the ACC champs, are all going to win their first round games. There's where it gets interesting now. Uh, Miami, of course, will beat Colorado. Butler will beat Marquette. UNLV will beat Syracuse. And mark it down here, NC State will upset Indiana. That's right, folks. Wolfpack, I uh, got a good feeling about them. Uh, of course, being the ACC homer that I am, got to have a good feeling about them. But I think the Wolfpack uh, will take out Indiana. Indiana will be the first, uh, one of the first number one seeds to go down at that point. Uh, that leaves NC State and UNLV, and the Wolfpack again will take care of uh, business there against the running Rebs. And the Hurricanes will take care of Butler, setting up an interesting grade 8 matchup um, with uh, the SEC, ACC foes in NC State and Miami. And the Hurricanes will take care of NC State in advance as a number two seed into the Final Four. And the final bracket is the South bracket. Uh, I think a lot of fun things are going to happen in this bracket. Uh, we're going to have Kansas, uh, North Carolina, VCU, Michigan, UCLA, Florida, Oklahoma, and another sleeper pick, Florida Gulf Coast out of the Atlantic Sun. It's going to take out Georgetown. Uh, it's going to be the 15 over the 2 for you to have this time. Uh, and here is where things continue to stay crazy. I think North Carolina is a really tough matchup for Kansas, and the Tar Heels will, and Roy Williams will take out the Jayhawks uh, in advance. Uh, VCU will beat Michigan in advance. Uh, Florida Gators uh, will advance. And Florida Gulf Coast getting that interesting matchup with 
Oklahoma will advance in as well. Uh, but that'll be as far as they go because the Gators, I think, are going to roll. They'll win. We'll say North Carolina wins over VCU. Uh, and Florida will beat North Carolina to advance into the Final Four. So the Final Four is now set. A little recap. Got Louisville versus Gonzaga in the first game. Florida versus Miami in the second game. I think Louisville will uh, handle Gonzaga uh, and make it into the title game. Uh, and, of course, the ACC champs, the Miami Hurricanes, uh, will advance over Florida in that run, setting up the, uh, the great matchup. I think it will be a high-scoring game. Uh, but the Louisville Cardinals will pull out the victory like 92 to 88 uh, and be this year's national champion uh, over the Miami Hurricanes. So there you go, folks. You've heard it here first uh, in every single way possible. Uh, probably want to put some money on it. Maybe. I think it's probably pretty good. Uh, so as you're looking, you know, you can agree, disagree. I'd love to hear, you know, your comments on uh, whether you think I'm a smart man or a crazy man. Uh, Ever how you want to say it, uh, but definitely uh, take a look at Belmont uh, and Florida Gulf Coast uh, being a couple of your sleeper teams uh, this year um, in your bracket and causing some problems for sure. So with that being said, get ready. You've only got a few hours left, to maybe about 24 to get that bracket uh, set in stone and to get everything ready to go and uh, to uh, figure out what you're going to do to call in uh, sick to work tomorrow. Uh, and on Friday, and, and enjoy this awesome, you know, first two days of March Madness. Y'all have a great Wednesday. See you tomorrow.